Well, without further ado, let's crack on with the semi-finals because we have a real clash of generations. We have the four-time ladies world champion, one of the greats of the women's game in Lisa Ashton, the Lancashire Rose, taking on the teenager from Ireland, Katie Sheldon. I believe she's only 17 years old. 25. At the very most, she's 18, but I think she's 17. 25. And she's pitting her wits against one of the greats with a spot in the final on the line. Bullseye. Twenty-five. Katie's won the ball. And it is young Sheldon who bangs in the ball to get the advantage of throwing first in this race to five legs. Forty. Bit of bad fortune with the first visit there. The darts on the floor. That's how it happened. And Lisa Ashton 85. straight in the treble 20 to try and punish. So it's Ashton against Sheldon here. Fallon Sherrick against Dieter Hedman just about to get right. underway on one of the outside boards. A win there for Fallon Sherrick, remember, would seal her spot at the Alexandra Palace. Let's be honest, she's going to be there. 85. But a chance for Sheldon and Hedman to just break up this incredible dominance 30. that... Ashton and Sherrick have had at the Women's Series this year. Well, I think it's going to be difficult because in this event particularly, once Lisa dealt with a preliminary round that she had to play and she won that to nil, she's been averaging pretty much 90. 90 average, followed by an 87, then a 93, and then a 91. She is motored on through to the semi-finals here. 81. And did throw first in this leg, but Ashton, it would have felt kind of like, it will feel like Lisa Ashton has a throw first in every leg because the superiority is great between her and not just the likes of Katie Sheldon, but just about every player apart from Fallon oh, Sherrick. Yeah, well look, she's made plenty of PDC talk. Oh, how about that from Katie Sheldon? 180 fired in in double quick time to get her right back in this leg. And all it's doing is Forcing Lisa Ashton to do something similar. She's not left to finish. That's a bogey number, the 163. 65. Ah, good counting as well. I'll tell you what, as well, I ran through this with Reno Sullivan earlier. If you look at the players that Katie Sheldon's lost to over the couple of double headers we've had so far O'Sullivan, Lorraine Hyde, Corinne Hammond, O'Sullivan again, Laura Turner, Hammond again. Tracy North, and yes, she also lost to Joe Clements, which is a <coughs> slightly lesser known name, but she's winning all the matches that she probably should win. Double 12 for Lisa Ashton. Oh, sure. beautiful stuff. Well, unfortunately, it has been ruthless for Lisa Ashton. And Katie Sheldon not really being given much of a chance. However, Early days, it's first to five in the semi-finals. But this is what Lisa's been doing all the way through this tournament. She's averaging in the 90s here. And it looks like she's just going to play at this level until somebody throws something 60. better and stops her. Yeah, well, the first day of the... Uh, ...dart, which is dragged down low, significantly closer to the bullseye than it is the treble 20. She's had a few of those in this game. Oh, brilliant from Lisa Ashton. Just reminding us all of her amazing ability. You mentioned experience as well, Dan, for Katie Sheldon. It would have been easy for a player from across the water of her age not to come to these events, just to carry on practicing in a bedroom and wait till she's a little bit older. But the experience that she's getting here may prove to be invaluable later in her career. She might even end up finishing in the top eight. Very likely, actually, that she will do that on the order of merit and getting a, a free entry to Q School, which, again, will be another invaluable experience. Absolutely. Won't do her any harm competing at Q School. We've seen her competing on the development tour. She's already had a little taste of that. Lisa leaves herself on double 12. 
for another six visit leg and just for once Katie Sheldon isn't there breathing down her neck the results oh she's decided to bust it I think that's probably sensible given the situation again you know it's a wise decision isn't it other players would have gone for that double three and then they get in trouble 60 he didn't have to go for it so didn't go for it and we'll come back and puts it right first start and now one leg from a whitewash win and another appearance in a final at the women's series yeah in double quick time and katie shoulders probably i don't know is she the quickest player we've got here today she's certainly up there isn't she her and ashton are rat -a tat tat great pace to this game 61. I suppose there's perhaps a slight advantage in that kind of throwing style when you're playing so many matches, throwing so many darts during the day. It's less taxing, isn't it? Maybe. I'm, I've got a stitch just watching. That'll be the caramel one. slice. <laughs> 140. Well, proper stuff there from Lisa Ashton. Ashton, you can see, misses just above the Six. wire and then follows it in with an X2. And you compare that with Katie there, who's missed in exactly the same place, but hasn't quite got that consistency to follow it in the same way. 54. A real confidence building run for Sheldon. A parting shot. Oh, really good. After the first dart, that is excellent. Lisa Ashton leaves herself on a two dart. Katie Sheldon's not going to take the 158, but once again, she'll ask a question of Lisa Ashton. She's had all the answers so far in this semi final. Has she got one more? 20 for tops. 40. Oh, just over the top. So another opportunity. Just the one dart. 21. Yeah, it's gone horribly wrong for Sheldon. Ashton can put this to bed. Thirty five.